We're being asked to compute this sum. So let's go ahead and do it in steps. So in all of this, this here is called a sub i. And what this notation means is that you first plug in 1, so you get a sub 1. And then you add, and then you plug in 2, so you get a sub 2. And then you add, so you get a sub 3. And then you add, and you finish by plugging in 4, which we call a sub 4. So what we'll do is we'll compute these guys and then add them all up. So a sub 1 is negative 2 to the 1, right? You just replace the i with 1, minus 3. So negative 2 to the first power is negative 2. So you get negative 2 minus 3, which is equal to negative 5. a sub 2 is negative 2 squared minus 3. Negative 2 squared, well, 2 is even, so you just get positive 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. a sub 3 is equal to negative 2 cubed minus 3. 3 is odd, so we're not just going to get an 8. We're going to get a negative 8 minus 3, and that's equal to negative 11. Finally, a sub 4, again, we just replace the i with 4. So we end up with negative 2 to the fourth power minus 3. So we get positive 16, because 4 is even, minus 3, which is equal to 13. And then to finish, we just take all of these numbers here, and we add them up. I'll do it up here so you see that it matches what I wrote at the beginning. So this is equal to a sub 1, which is negative 5, plus a sub 2, which is 1, plus a sub 3, which is negative 11, plus a sub 4, which is 13. And if you add all these numbers up, let's see, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4, and negative 11 plus 13 is positive 2. So we end up with negative 2. And that's it. I hope this helps someone out there.